Hello, good afternoon. Welcome back to another vlog here on Coast of Crazy YouTube channel. Yes, you can see by the title, we've come to the Cotswold Wildlife Park and Garden. Um, yeah, we should have a good time here. It's a nice sort of place to come and bring your dog as well. Uh, 18 pounds to get in. Yeah, should have a good time. We're only here for a few hours, but uh, come and join us. Let's go. Right, good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to another vlog here. I'm going old school. There's not going to be much fancy cinematics in this one. Yeah, we've come to the Cotswold Wildlife Park and Garden. The allowed dogs. Um, yeah, she's down here. Yeah, a zoo that allows dogs. So we've basically just rocked up. £18 each to get in. And yeah, it it's very quiet <laughs> it's a sunday afternoon and we've only got a few hours here in fact i think we've only got a couple of hours here um closes at four so yeah you've got loads of animals it is a proper full-on zoo that allows dogs it's not really much of a fence or a barrier once you get in here so it's quite open but yeah we came last time we came here was three years ago in june and it was all right <laughs> so it's just nice to bring the dog with us there's not that much here it's not massive i did just show you the map but yeah you just basically drive in at the bottom here we parked somewhere like round here last time but we we're actually just right outside here you pay the chaos you come in you've got a walled garden section there uh, otters, prairie dogs, aviary, meerkats, penguins, that's basically just behind us. You've got the wolverines and the aviary. We're around here somewhere. Um, yeah, there's a train that goes around. It's, it's, it's pretty big. There's a bat cave, there's a reptile house. It goes all the way down here. Lions and leopards and... Yeah, it's open all year round. It's only closed on Christmas Day. And I remember it being quite a nice walk around so yeah i hope you've enjoyed the past couple of vlogs i wasn't wasn't really feeling up to filming much today if i'm honest um didn't really do anything yesterday i think we've got to come here yesterday but by the time i actually um got sorted i got up went to go and get my uh car cleaned and three hours later it was too late to do anything yeah no more trains today apparently it's saying just here so this is the train station i think just over here we didn't do that last time we came here um there's quite a bit i think we missed out but it's it's nice like they've got all these decked viewing areas you're looking at the wolverines can you see any oh yeah they're there Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, so you got the wolverine. Just down here. Oh, yeah, there's one on the ledge. There. And there's one down here. It's digging again. Look, look at her, Andy. Andy. <gasps> Tilly! Tilly! She's like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Tilly! 
yeah, it's not very often that you can bring dogs to a zoo. Uh, the other place we did um, that had a zoo, it was only a small walk thing. Can't remember the, the name of the place now, that was in the Cotswolds as well. So yeah, there's things to read and if you want some more information on the Wolverine. So yeah, let's have a walk around the zoo and see what we can see. Yeah, so you've got this middle section here, there's toilets here if you need them. Then there's a back cave here as well. I can't even remember doing that last time we came. But it's just nice. Oh yeah, it might have been. Yeah, it might have been closed because of uh, the big sea. Um, but it doesn't look like there's much open down here. Any. We might as well walk this way anyway. Or come back this way in a minute, I don't know. So we've only got a couple of hours to walk around. It's just nice to actually have something that's open in the winter. When you go online and check, they're open in times. So they're only closed Christmas Day. So, yeah, you can't go that way. It's like a really good playground for the kids over here as well. It's like a century overload for dogs here. There's just, yeah, there's just so many smells. She's loving it. It's just, yeah. Obviously, you've got to keep the dogs on leads at all times as well. But I don't see the po the problem of having quite a lot of other places open and allowing dogs. They do uh, hot drinks and stuff there as well. Uh, and obviously the dogs are not allowed inside, I've just seen the sign there for no dogs. Insect in invertebrate house, ooh, I know what's in there. Do you want to wait outside while I look, go and look at big spiders? <laughs> yeah, huge play area for the kids just there. Ooh, cockroaches in here. Yeah, so there's a tarantula in here. I've literally just turned the camera off and back on again so I can turn the screen off the front because when I go too close to windows, you see the screen. <laughs> oh, leaf cutting ants in here. I can't see any though. <laughs> Some ones that go across like the uh, the other side. Oh, they're all in. Oh, there's not many of them, is there? Oh, bless them. Uh, there's, there's not many in there. Scorpions. Oh, God. Locusts. It's a very small area. Is that an iguana? Yeah, iguana. Scorpions in here as well. Oh god, the hundreds of cockroaches. Oh my god. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Yeah, so that was the insect and invertebrate house. Yeah, you just probably saw that last clip then, the massive tarantula in there. Yeah, so if you don't like insects and creepy crawlers and stuff, I'd miss that one out. But yeah, there's lots to see here. Like I said, like with a map. So we're just sort of like in this middle section here. So the, like I said, there is a bat house, reptile house in this bit here, and you've got all of this here. There's just so much to see. We we won't get to see it all in two hours, that's for sure. Hmm. 
Yeah, these are cute. They're um, I don't know. She said this. She said it was round here. What it's called? They're like um, I don't know. They're like weird dogs. Like yeah, they look like dogs. They're like the uh, what was it called? Uh, the Samlot, the Samiad, or whatever it was called. They look like those. Oh my god, I don't know. Bin. What? Bin Torong. Bin, to, bin Torong. Oh my. Oh, yeah, bear cat. So it looks like, yeah, I said dog, didn't I? But yeah, it's more like a, like a little bear. Like a. I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, they try their ta tail. Oh, are they? Oh, the tail sec secretes a scent that smells like, uh, like popcorn. Can you? Yeah, it's such a really nice landscaped zoo as well. It's really pretty around here. So there's a reptile house on that side. You've got tortoise in here, which are obviously in hibernation now. So they've been taken in, indoor somewhere. And you've got the bat house. Yeah, there's also one at uh, Longleat. And the, my favorite one that I've not done for a while, Chester Zoo Bat Cave is amazing. Does it say dogs are not allowed? It doesn't actually say. Oh yeah, no dogs. Oh, it's massive in it. It goes up upstairs as well. Oh, I can't see anything in here. So that's there any bats in it? Oh. Oh no, they're mice. Uh, that's a mouse. There's no bats up in there. Oh, there they are. Oh my god. Oh, turn my screen back on again. Yeah, so there's like this massive room. I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, but there's loads of bats everywhere. I think they're playing some audio as well, because it sounds like there's thousands of bats, but there isn't. But there's a massive room in there. You just see a few of them here. Ooh. Oh, they've got a green anaconda in here. Fortunately, you can't really see it because they need to demist the windows. You can't, I, I don't know if you can get around any other way to see it, but it's massive. It's in that pool just there. But yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice around here. You know, it's well kept. Oh god, it's massive. That's reptile house, that's exit only. Yeah, the little fountain's really nice there. Um, you've got the restaurant just here. Unfortunately, dogs are not allowed in there. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's another toilet in there as well. Uh, the restaurant closes today at 5 p.m. The park closes today at 6. Oh, I thought it was. I thought the park closed at 6. I'm going to have to check their website again. But I'm pretty sure it said 4. And then there's red pandas down here. Are there red pandas? Yeah, I can see it up on the top there. Oh, it's really nice here. Like, the, the actual grounds are stunning. Like, really well kept. Like, so you can bring your dogs, you can bring a ball and play fetch with them over in the big grassy area just there. Although they're supposed to be kept on a lead. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they mind. It's one up in the tree, yeah. Yeah, so coming to the rhino house, is actually the, the mother and the baby just there as well. Let's see if we can get a nice picture for you. It's quite, it's quite dark in here. Um, 
Yeah, it's quite nice. It's quite a nice chilled day out, to be honest. Let's see if we can get a picture. Um, is that good enough? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you can sort of see these two a little bit better. So there's two babies. There's one on either end. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, they've got their own pen and this whole little room's quite nice to walk into and have a look at the viewing platform. Yeah, it's massive here. Oh, it looks like they're redoing the train. That's why the train's closed. Pulling up the pathway here. Yeah, it goes quite a distance as well from what I remember. Like I said, I didn't do it last time, but I remember where the other station is. It's down at the bottom end down here. Doing a grand job there, mate. <laughs> Doing a good job there. Working on a Sunday, getting a bit of overtime in. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, so we've walked round and uh, yeah, Mr. Rhino's over here. He's, he's walked from all the way over there to here to scratch his horn. White rhino. Yeah, very rare. It's massive as well, isn't it? Right, absolutely huge. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> hello. Oh, they walked away. Yeah, we've got the giraffe house. So there's five of them in here. I think you've, uh, think you've, I think you've had all that. Wow. Yeah, so the uh, giraffe house there, just behind me, unfortunately. Dogs are not allowed up the, up the ramp there. Um, but yeah, it's really nice house. For the drafts in there, you can go in and see them all. It does smell a bit iffy in there. <laughs> but I suppose it will do if there's five drafts in there all weeing. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice um, wildlife park. It's not much, well, it is a zoo, isn't it? It's got animals, but it's more of a wildlife park and the gardens to walk around. It's really nice here. Like I said, the last time we came was 2020, June and it was really busy and we ended up parking nowhere near the entrance where we are at the minute and um, yeah it's just nice to have a walk around isn't it even though it's sort of off season well it's not for this because it's open all year round it's only closed on Christmas day but it's something to do it's a nice few hours out of the house isn't it I suppose and um, yeah I, I suppose they could have done like a little Christmas market here or something like that but yeah for what there is it's, it's, it's a nice attraction you should come and visit it Yeah, you got the lions around here. I was just sort of thinking to myself off camera while we're walking around. We've seen, we've seen more in this first hour of being here, animal wise, than we did when we went to Chester. Chester Zoo, we saw nothing when we last went to Chester. I, oh, was there? Yeah, last time we went to Chester Zoo, I didn't even vlog it. There was literally nothing to film. It was just such a shame. Like the, the UK's most, popular zoo and they were just like we saw nothing like it's such a shame and in fact when we was at chester zoo there was an hour long wait to go and see the giraffes because there was a brand new one to go and see they just had a baby yeah it's really nice this looks really fresh as well i don't know how old it is what there's nothing in here. Uh, oh, there she was. Oh. oh, she's gone out. It's, she just said there was a lioness in here. Well, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? The first hour of us being in here, and it only cost 18 quid each. I don't know how much. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, she's here. She's here. I'm pretty sure that Chester Zoo is more than 18 pound. Yeah, so there's a couple of lions in there. Oh, 
Junior says he wants to stand up and look at everything. Look at that, the lion just here. Like, how cool is that? I didn't get that at Chester Zoo. But yeah, how close? We're literally, what, like, four metres away from the lion? milk on his mouth? Ooh, Kevin cleaned his teeth. And he's foaming at the mouth. There's some meat on that thing up there for you, mate. <laughs> yeah, the female one's up on the line. As she's up on the top, there is like a big stack of meat up there as well. Yeah. yeah how cool is that? Awesome. Yeah, there's so much to see here. I think the end of the line for the train. I don't. Has it? Yeah, because there's another guy down here doing the ballast. So they've redone the train. They've spent a lot of money here in the in the past few years we've not been here it's looking really fresh yeah it's nice it's a, it's a nice place to come and have a walk around yeah there's hardly anyone here but there's probably more people here than there was at Alton Towers a couple of weeks ago I hope you enjoyed the vlogs and everything but yeah I'm I don't know if I'm enjoying my new phone if I'm honest <laughs> um, <I'd... laughs> <laughs> it is about the park and not my phone. Yeah, I just tried to do a couple of close-up videos and it's frozen and turned itself off. Might not good. Bug. Yeah, <laughs> might be a bug on my phone. You got the camels? Oh, there might be a bug fix for it, yeah. Yeah, so I've been zooming in on stuff and doing some videos and it's just literally just freezing. Mm. Yeah, I got camels over here as well. Yeah, so we're having a lovely walking around. Uh, we've got lots of little ducks just in there. It's a children's farmyard section. I think it's more of a... Uh, yeah, <laughs> theming. I think everything's outside. There's some rabbits just down there. Oh, I've got guinea pigs in here. There's loads of them. It's really well kept. Like I said, everything's nice and tidy. Got some theming and stuff for them to hide underneath. Yeah, it's really nice. Nothing in that one. Look at all these guinea pigs down here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just walking out and I didn't realise all these uh, rats in here. There's hundreds of them. Brown rat. Yeah, I think we've got some of these in our attic at the moment. Um, <laughs> we're having some issues with it, with um, rodents in the loft. Oh my God, they're everywhere. They're on the floor. Oh, ah, yeah, loads of stuff for them to hide in there. Can't really see them that well. You got some mice in here. Ah. <laughs> All the things that they can hide in as well, that's really cool. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah, so we'll come outside. So that's a section I've just been walking through there with the rats and the guinea pigs and oh, this small outdoor section here. Oh, there's a, there's a rabbit. A rabbit. Massive section here for the guinea pigs. That we just saw inside there. There's chickens down here. <laughs> this Tilly's trying to get close to the chickens there. <laughs> She's intrigued by little animals. So if we had a rabbit or something, the rabbit would probably uh, play with her. Well, the chickens down here. They do pet. No, Where? Things do not seem to go. Oh, can you go in there? I think you can go in there. Well, not with dogs. Yeah, I think you can go in though. Oh. Yeah, you can. Like no dogs. Oh, it does. Yeah, no dogs there. Yeah. So you can actually go in with the goats here. There's quite a few of them. But yeah, it's a massive area just here. Not like a, a tiny little petting zoo that you would find at other places, but. 
an actual huge area just for the farm animals just here i think there's a donkey somewhere we heard that when we walked in here but it's really well like i say everything's well kept there's a bit there in the middle section with some plows and uh, a, a beehive <laughs> but yeah you can go in with the goats if you want We've got some sheep just over here there's a massive cow is there more goats over there or is it different kinds of sheep but yeah, you can go in with the animals. There's nothing to stop you. You've got these gates. There's a gate here. Yeah, and a lot of people have just done the same thing. You just walk in. So you can go with the goats. Some goats here. Can't get any closer to these ones. You've got some sheep. Oh, there they are, there's the donkeys. Just remember, if you've got small children or even young dogs, uh, these animals may bite. Even the even the young dogs. Do you remember about that park where the kids' hand was grabbed by a donkey? Yeah, uh, Gulliver's. Oh, it was a pony, wasn't it? I and think it, it was a no, it was a donkey. I think it and was. The mum wasn't there anywhere to be seen. No, no, that was a Gulliver's. Yeah, a small child put their arm through the fence, and the donkey grabbed hold of the little oh, child. I'm not going to stroke you. No. Oh. Hello. Oh look, a nose to nose. <laughs> What's that? The donkey, Tilly. It's a donkey. No. Hello. Are you beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't talking to me, by the way. No. <laughs> I like the little grey one there in the middle. Or is it there somewhere? Oh. Yeah. So you got the donkeys. Oh, we oh, can hear the pigs. You got some more got sheep. <laughs> And you got some pigs around here. Yeah, she's loving it. <laughs> she's loving it. I'm gonna run around and sniffing everything. And oh, hello, <laughs> hello. Are you waiting for your dinner? Yeah. Tilly's like, what are those? I'd love a pig. Yeah, one of the micro pigs. No, one of those, that's all. One of these ones. Yeah. Oh, he's not happy. <laughs> Oi! Yeah, don't lift your dogs up. <laughs> oh, the po yeah, I remember this bit now. This is literally the last bit we need to see is the walled garden. Um, so the only thing we haven't seen is this and the train. We've pretty much seen everything else. I think there's another bit at, right at the back, but I think it was closed for maintenance, like doing it up. But yeah, some penguins in here as well. Again, it's really nicely landscaped around here. Obviously, it's got a lot better in the summertime. Can't see what's in there. Yeah, so we've seen plenty of animals. 
and obviously from walking around um, I've realised it's not as big as I thought it was this place got some meerkats in here as well but yeah as, uh, as vlogs go I think this is it now for the for the end of the year unless we do something next year uh, well next week even I don't really know I haven't planned anything yet but I've got over a week off work at Christmas I thought about going up to York or somewhere I don't really know do a couple of Christmas markets and yeah just get out of the house got some more birds and things down here uh, got prairie dogs in here can't see any though Yeah, and there's a few other things down here as well to see. Yeah, I can't see nothing in there. But I don't know what we're doing for next week. <laughs> I really don't know. As of yet, I've still got, including this one, I've still got like two other vlogs to upload. I still haven't uploaded the Alton Towers vlog or Winter Wonderland Stoke. Really nice attractions, those. Can't see anything in here either. It's a bit, uh, yeah, it's a bit sparse around this bit, other than the penguins. We should have some otters in here. I think it's a bit too cold for them. Yeah, yeah you got some frogs in here. They're all stuck to the tank. We'll just go home and have tea at home instead of going out pizza. Ooh, pizza sound good. <laughs> you got some more frogs in here as well. Do not tap on the glass. <laughs> Yeah, oh wow, all sorts of frogs, different kinds in there, I don't think you can go inside it. No, you just look through the window, you've got the yellow mongoose over there as well. Yeah, so there's plenty to see here, it's just another miserable day isn't it? Getting closer to Christmas now, uh, I'm surprised there's like no Christmas decorations around here though, at all really, we've seen, um, I think we've seen one in the restaurant back over there. The yeah, cotton top tamarinds just in here. There was one just here a second ago. He just, just jumped up there. You've got the uh, Madagascar walkthrough over here as well. Unfortunately, it's closed. Mm. And I think this is it now. We've just walked around to where we parked the car. Yeah, no dogs as well. Yeah, it's got a big chain across it, so this bit's closed. We'll, we'll be coming back again. <laughs> I say that, but will we though? I don't know. <laughs> when it's like 18 quid to get in, I don't find that too bad, I suppose. You can have a nice walk around and look at the animals. But we're, we're pretty much done. I think that's towards the exit now. Right, I said it was the end, it literally is. I've, I've just literally turned the camera back on again. There's the car park. <laughs> yeah, that's it, we're done. We've pretty much seen everything that's here. Um, I suppose it'd take a while to walk around it in the summertime. But yeah, there's the car park. We've walked around the whole entire place. The only bit we didn't do was, like I said, over the back. Um, it's like a planked walk area, if I remember. I think that's closed and obviously the train but yeah we've seen everything that's here it's a really nice place to come and have a walk around it's great that you can bring the dogs and I think there's some sort of restaurant and stuff here and then yeah that's it there's not much else to show you I think there's a shop in here but it'll be yeah it'll be like a generic shop while it's sell the generic animal based products plushies and teddies and that sort of thing but yeah if you've never been before come and check it out obviously i'd pick a a nicer day to come but at least it's not raining it's quite chilled out it's not too busy we've been able to walk around and see tons of animals you know here's the shop no dogs allowed in that one
Yeah, they've got a small outdoor cafeteria thing there selling hot and cold drinks there as well. But they're closing up, so yeah, I think the whole thing is on till four o'clock in the winter time. But we've had a nice walk around. We've been here a couple of hours. What time is it now? It was five to four. We got here at like two o'clock. So uh, yeah, we should have got here a bit earlier. But like I said, we've seen everything. We've seen a lot of animals. It's nice to have a walk around. It's great that you can bring the dog. And um, yeah, if you want to come yourself, come and check it out. If you haven't already, comment, like and subscribe there. Don't forget to click the notification bell for next time we upload another video. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know it's been quite short and, and, and not that much in it. You know, it's just a nice quick walk around the zoo. But uh, if you've enjoyed it, you like what you've seen, come and check it out. All the links will be in the video description down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.